They do. So the reason that we need this much hardware and all the pumps and everything, Europa has no atmosphere. I mean, it's got a whiff of an exosphere to be correct, but um, it basically has no atmosphere. So it's the vacuum of space. So you get that, check, all right. You know, pump it down Next. and then we're at 100 Kelvin or minus 280 degrees Fahrenheit. So cool it down. Super cold. Pump it, cool it, all right. Pump it, cool it. And then Europa's surface is bombarded by a hailstorm of electrons and ions and protons. He doesn't literally mean hail, okay? <laughs> that's, that's right. Hail, mean, did, did they tell you this? Hail is something else, <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, okay? A flux of, okay. Yeah, Exactly, oh, yeah, okay. uh, or affluence. Uh, okay. uh, or, and so, so stuff coming from the sun, solar wind? No, it's, it's um, a little bit of solar wind, but Jupiter's magnetic field entrains stuff coming out of Jupiter's atmosphere and think about Io. Okay, Io is the innermost large moon, and Io is the vol most volcanically active body in our solar system. The stuff spewing out of Io, predominantly sulfur, gets turned into sulfur ions, and that bombards the surface of Europa. Wait, so you're telling me the volcanic eruptions on Io achieve escape velocity? And then they catalyze chemistry on Europa's surface. So it pollutes the environment of Jupiter. <laughs> That's right. Or the sulfur from Io may actually help make Europa's ocean habitable. Ooh. Volcanism on one moon, feeding life on another moon. 